As absentee voting already broke records in Wisconsin's midterm election, all eyes are on the empty seat left by Speaker of the House Paul Ryan. Wisconsin's first congressional district has been a hotly contested race after Paul Ryan announced earlier this year he will step down at the end of his term. The Democrats have been eager to win this open seat. It could change the political demographic of Wisconsin. The liberal candidate, Randy Bryce, is a local iron worker who hopes to flip the seat for the Democratic Party. While Republican candidate Brian Steele has been seen as a litmus test for Paul Ryan's legacy, being a corporate attorney and former member of Paul Ryan's staff. The Democrats have also been fighting hard to keep incumbent Tammy Baldwin in the only Senate seat that is up for grabs. Baldwin is the first openly gay woman elected to Congress from any state. The race for governor has also been close between Democratic candidate and state school superintendent Tony Evers. So making sure that we have good roads and good health care. And the incumbent Scott Walker, who has held the position for two terms. My focus here is on the state of Wisconsin and making sure we're able to provide more opportunity and more freedom for people here in the state. This important race has drawn attention from both President Trump and former President Barack Obama. Both have campaigned in Wisconsin during this final stretch. Hello, Milwaukee! 